Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Kitchen Corner. I'm Alyssa Wells and this evening we'll be doing plant-based cheesecake. For many of us, transitioning to a plant-based diet can become quite challenging, especially when it comes down to desserts. But that doesn't have to be the case. For this evening, we'll be looking at a very simple and nutritious way to do cashew cheesecake plant-based style. For the crust of the cheesecake, I'll be using walnut so that I'll also be using raisins. This is a quarter cup of raisins. You can substitute the raisins for dates. If you don't have dates, you can just use a little raisin. Also, for the crust, I'll be using Oats. This is a half a cup of oats. This is the rolled oats, the coarse one, but if you like the quick oats, you, that's your choice. You can use that as well. For the nuts, you can substitute the walnut for almond nut. Also, some persons can use sweet biscuit, plant-based sweet biscuit, but this evening we'll be using walnut, rolled oats, and raisins. When we're gonna blend this all together with a little bit of coconut oil and if you'd like a pinch of salt for the filling of our cashew cheesecake of course the main ingredient for the filling is cashew raw cashew now to prepare the cashew what we're going to do is we would have soaked this overnight or for a few hours however if you don't have enough time you can simply just bring this to a boil on the stove and it is good to go soft enough to go into the blender a pinch of salt salt to taste one tablespoon of coconut oil you're gonna need either one lemon or lime or half of it depending on the size and also we're going to use half a cup of honey if you have maple syrup or agave syrup whatever sweetener you prefer that's fine and finally our two last ingredients are coconut milk and agar agar powder now for the coconut milk right here I have half of a cup however we are when we're blending it we're just going to pour just enough for it to get into the consistency that we need so i won't necessarily use all of the half of a cup based on the consistency that i see when i'm blending and the agar agar powder that's half tablespoon of agar agar powder this is used as a thickening agent if you do not have agar agar powder organic cornstarch can be used or if you have access to arrowroot powder now that will just aid in the thickening of the filling so that by the time you put it into the freezer and you're it's ready it's set it will help it to be sliced so it will be sliced cheesecake and not too soft so that's why we use a thickening agent to make our crust we're going to pulverize together our nuts, our walnuts, our oats, and our raisin. If you have a food processor, you can put them in the food processor or a regular blender. Or if you have the pulverizing section of the blade of your blender, it's best to use that one. But anyway, will work. So all the walnuts, oats. And our raisins and here we can add a little bit of coconut oil just a little bit
finish pulverizing it, then you pour it out into your baking tin. Get all of it. And when you're finished pouring it out, then you're going to use a container or the bottom of a glass and press it down all the way down along the, the bottom and if you can get some at the side that would be good. So after you're finished pressing down the crust, make sure that all the, the base of it, of the bottom of the baking tin is covered with all the mixture, all the nuts, the oats, the dates that you had pulverized in the blender. If you have enough, you can bring it all the way up to the sides or if you just want the bottom like I did. And when it's looking like this, it's time to go into the freezer. So at this point, you're gonna put this in the freezer for about half an hour and let it set. So in the meantime, we're going to take our thickening agent, which is the agar agar in this case, or your cornstarch, or if you have arrowroot powder, and you're going to put it in the coconut milk. So you check on it every now and then, make sure that the fire is not too high and you check so it's getting, it's getting a little thick. So you just give it a little stir. If there are any lumps in it, try to take out the lumps. In my case, it was boiled and drained. Put it first in your blender. It's okay to use your hands, just wash your hands before, wipe and clean your counters that if you have any spillage, it's quite okay to pick it up. So use our cashew, then we drizzle our honey or agave, our organic extra virgin coconut oil salt and half of a lime or an entire lime so just roll it a little to let it get a little soft you slice it half take out all the seeds don't want seeds in your blender and you juice I think I'm going to use half of this lime. You pour in your coconut milk and your agar agar powder that was on the stove that you've simmered for a few minutes. I think I'm going to use all of mine. So now I'm going to taste it to see if this is to my liking. Okay, so I think it needs a little bit more lime juice. And now that our crust is set in the freezer for 25 to 30 minutes, it's time to pour our filling.
And now that our filling is in, we place it back into the freezer. Meanwhile, for the topping, we'll be using sorrel syrup. To make sorrel syrup, you'll need 7 to 10 petals of the sorrel. These were already be seeded, washed, and frozen. Bring these petals into a boil. At this point, the color should be a very vibrant red. So turn down the heat, then add your sweetener and your thickening agent and stir occasionally. Then turn off the heat. Sorrel is rich in vitamin A, vitamin C, and fiber. It is also rich in antioxidants, which may help prevent heart disease. Cashews are a storehouse of antioxidants, hence maintaining eye health and shields the eyes from damage. Cashews also improves heart health, it improves blood pressure, it fights against migraines, and even prevents gallstones. Here we have it, our final outcome, cashew cheesecake covered in sorrel syrup. Enjoy it. <laughs>